On Dynamite, did we find out what really happened at AEW All In? And is Osprey afraid of the grind? Or did he tell Trips to take a hike, bruv? All that and more on the Grapple Sauce Wrestling Podcast. Hit it. Hey, welcome to the show. Daver here. Hey, hey, this guy's Chad. And wait a minute. No Chandler. Chandler okay, we is had to let not him... here again. We had to let him uh, take a little vacation. He needed it. He earned it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it'll be a two-man booth today. Uh, talking about the uh, fallout of AEW All-In Brawlin footage. <laughs> yeah that's a lot Mouthful there um, um yeah that happened uh dynamite at uh charleston uh west virginia in charleston west virginia um yeah a lot going on in the episode uh <laughs> the young bucks let us know on collision that they were gonna air the footage from all in <laughs> uh, speculation ran rampant about would it be trolling us? Would it actually be the footage of the incident? Uh, it was clarified. Nope, they're going to show it. Yeah. Uh, people were going, no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it all over the internet. Uh, but guess what, Chad? They did it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was surprised. Uh, I figured, what's it been, like eight months? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was just time to move on. Just be the bigger man and uh, don't play those games. Just put out awesome shows like we know you can. Yeah. Uh, does Tony Khan have a problem with uh, lashing out? Is this uh, a thing, maybe? A little bit insecurity uh yeah you can't lash out every time someone pokes the bear you know yeah no it's not a good look like yeah i don't know maybe it's just because like being the son of a billionaire uh maybe he's just used to people like uh seeing things his way or i don't know i can't I, i can't speak for him but uh like I said, to me, I'm a just show don't tell kind of person. Like, just behave with a certain level of integrity. Behave like the like you want the world to see you, and then people will see you that way. Like, you know, like you want to be like everybody think this is an awesome place, and we have the best shows and the best wrestlers and all that. Just do that. Who cares what everybody else thinks? Who cares what CM Punk says? I don't. Nobody does. Nobody takes that guy serious. Like he's entertaining to watch, sure, but really, he, it's wrestling. It's it's a joke. Yeah, yeah. the The whole premise of the sport <laughs> is yeah. to entertain and, uh, you know, kind of be a joke. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a circus. They're carnies, and it's awesome. I love it. But yeah, don't take yourself too seriously. Like, like I said, just just be above it all. Uh, do you think Tony Khan will grow out of it? Yeah. Uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> no, Aren't the best there people be- there. Yeah. That no, tell him. Yeah. Yeah. He, he shouldn't have as uh, a certain pipe bomb once said a bunch of glad handing. Yes, man. You, you think like he's hired some really good, like behind the scenes people. You were they, to, were, what were they saying? Were they like, no, don't do it. Or were they just be like, ah, oh, you're the boss, boss, do what you want. Yeah, are, are there uh, voices of reason backstage? <laughs> like Tony, come on! Yeah. Ugh. Um. Yeah. My my honest viewpoint. Bottom line. Bad idea. Way too late. They should have rolled that out on like TMZ. Yeah. Uh, right. Right when it happened. That would yeah. have been the way to do it. Yeah, that way there's a little bit of insulation. You're not directly involved. It's not on your show. Like I say, I 
I tune into that show because it is bar none the best in ring action, and you get the most of it per hour. Uh, mm-hmm. Just give me more of that. I'll keep watching. I don't care about that other stuff. Like, yeah, some dude did something. Now he's over at some other place. He's saying some stuff. Don't care. I want to see uh, Chandler's baby boy Takesh to do some badass stuff. Like, don't care about the rest of that stuff. And I don't know. We'll get to it when we get to the segment. But it was it, the segment itself just didn't play well. No, it felt awkward. It felt forced. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. Do you want to get right into dynamite? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> cool. Um, well, we tried real hard to get a world title eliminator match between Samoa Joe and Dustin Rhodes. If he were to win the match, he would get a title shot for the AEW World Championship. Uh, we got Swerve attacking Samoa Joe on the ramp uh, before he, he could even get to the ring. Uh, they topple to the floor. Swerve spears Joe through a table. Uh, security holds back Swerve. Uh, we got no match. They got to find out if uh, Samoa Joe is okay. Uh, then we get a recap of Trent turning on Orange Cassidy. Uh, and we're going to have Orange Cassidy address the situation on Rampage. Um, I'll have to figure out <laughs> <laughs> later <laughs> what happens with that. Yeah. But uh, going back to uh, Joe and Dustin, uh, I liked that. That made me uh, feel a little more invested in the feud. Uh, hmm. This is definitely a blood feud. Blood <laughs> feud! <laughs> um. Yeah, they're really doing great things with this. And we're going to be really fulfilled when Swerve gets that title. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. No, I'm happy they're elevating that feud because, like, it feels like an inevitability. Like, we all see the writing on the the wall. Wow, my brain is mush today. And, you know, we know what's going to happen, but at least they're giving us a reason to give a crap. Like, the, the violence they're putting on each other is just, like, it feels real. It gives me that. Yeah. More, more. It's great. Like they're finding a way to take this, take this, what could just be a uh, paint by numbers feud and actually make it interesting. So kudos to them. Yeah. It's very, very primal. Ooh, good (laughs) word. Um, thank you. (laughs) Um, Uh, yeah. After that, we get a really great, Cope Open TNT Championship match. Ooh. Uh, th- like, th- think about it. Like, five, ten years ago. Like, hey, one day we're going to have Edge in the ring with <laughs> this little skinny skeleton guy who, you know, does amazing things in Lucha Underground. Uh you know, in a company that hasn't even started yet. Yeah. You know, and we're going to get to see them do a Canadian destroyer. Hell yeah. Yep. (laughs) Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, Yeah. Great match. Really loved it. Uh, Started out with Penta shoving Copeland, Copeland shoving him back. Uh, Penta spears Copeland uh, covers for two. Penta is in control up until picture in picture. Uh, we come back and Copeland leapfrogs Penta two times and they both do a head scissor takedown to each other. Uh, and they both connect with a high boot and both fall to the mat. Uh, they exchange elbow strikes on their knees. Penta dives on Copeland on the outside. Copeland barely beats the 10 count, uh, really putting him through the ringer. Uh, Penta kicks Copeland's neck while he's dangling off the apron. Uh, Copeland plants Penta face first into the mat from his shoulders. Uh, Copeland gets a modified sharpshooter on Penta 
but Penta gets to the ropes. Really love that variation of that. Never really seen it, uh, but I liked it. Uh, Penta gives Copeland a stalling drop kick, then covers for two. Copeland counters the arm breaker with a cross face, but Penta gets to the ropes again. Copeland power slams Penta on the apron. Looked really great. Uh, Copeland accidentally spears Alex Abrahentes. Uh, Penta gives Copeland a uh, code red for a two count. Uh, or an avalanche code red. Uh, we got Copeland spearing Penta for the win. Uh, and yeah, there was a Can- Canadian destroyer in there early oh, on. The code too. Red. Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, the action really never lagged at all. Uh, I think Penta made Copeland look really good. Yeah. Like, like he kind of carried him a little, little bit. Yeah. Co- Copeland for me, like, you know, good character guy. Uh, it's got good fundamentals for wrestling. Uh, but I feel like in the past few weeks like since like shortly before him getting uh, getting the belt and up till now like something's just clicked and all of a sudden like these guys like he's a different wrestler now he can he can hang with the elite it's amazing he's doing stuff now that i've never seen him do in his career like he can hang with these guys and yeah they're carrying him a bit but kudos and uh, like something about like like for a bit for when he first came in he felt very uh generic car wrestler like how he talked and stuff but now like he interacts with the crowd he's having fun that backstage stage segment that's coming up like for me that was my high point was that backstage segment like he went from like oh he's here that's kind of cool but meh to oh yeah yeah no he's probably in my top five guys to watch right now so uh, i think that's badass yeah i feel like he was truly telling the truth when he said he's having the most fun he's ever had in his whole career uh yeah incredible match like penta man he should be a world champion one day i don't know how they'd fit him into their very tightly packed (laughs) yeah uh crowded world championship scene yeah but yeah if anything he could probably rock the uh uh continental title at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Never held singles gold in AEW. Uh anyway, after that, uh the lights go out after the win, and Brody King attacks Copeland as Julia Hart distracts him. Uh Brody King chokes Copeland out, but Willow runs out and attacks Julia. Uh, Brody pulls Julia away, and uh, yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff. I like that Willow came out to help Copeland. That, that was, was kind of neat. She faced off Brody Lee, dude. She is the real deal. I love it. Yep. Could she be the new China? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. I mean, like we're well, fast forwarding a bit, but Stokely had an interesting pitch there for a second. That backstage <laughs> segment killed me. I thought everybody was on it. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, after that, we get a Jericho promo with Hook and uh, Shibata there. Uh, Jericho lays out his plan to take out uh, Shane Taylor Promotions. Uh, he says he wants them to breathe rarefied air. And follow the Jericho learning tree. <laughs> um, Shibata uh, uses his phone to say, uh, bet. Because <laughs> that's what Hook says. And then he says, after Jericho walks away, what's his deal? <laughs> and then? Uh, Hook's like, it's okay, trust him. And then uh, he tells Renee, I like your necklace. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. So, so I have a question for you. Do you think that Jericho is kind of starting to get this whole cloak vampire thing, and he's just kind of leading into it, sort of 
playing with it, but kind of poking at it now. Cause I feel like yeah. he's kind of being meta about it now. And he's like, well, this is my reputation. I'm just going to lean into it and have some fun with it. Yeah. I think that pretty much is what's going on. He, yeah. Everyone realizes it. Like, uh, he's on the verge of turning heel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I don't mind it. I'm not, I'm not, uh, turned off by the Jericho segment or yeah, yeah the, at least the team it's, off. yeah it's not it's not where it was three months ago it was like just get them off like now i'm like i could take it or leave it but i don't hate it i don't want to see him go away so i guess that's a step in the right direction i think not having judas play is really helping yeah uh maybe don't play that for a long time and then when you do it'll pop you know <sighs> but anyway uh after that we get a recap of the ftr and young bucks history um then we get uh mark briscoe and eddie kingston uh talking about their ring of honor match uh i love how they're still friends after that yeah they beat the hell out of each other put the put each other through the ringer uh, real dog fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we got Copeland walking up and making sure that uh, the two of them are still good and they're ready for the trios match at Dynasty. Then we got Willow and Stokely walking up and uh, they're talking about, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> Stokely suggests that Willow challenge for the TNT championship. And he says uh, that she's like, no, no. she gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> he's, he's like, no, 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 no. So good. <laughs> so good. Uh, but no, we're not getting that, but uh we're getting a uh they don't call it an intergender match because that would involve them actually wrestling each other. What's yeah. how do they uh, what do they tag. call it? It's a mixed tag. Yep, mixed tag. Uh, so they got to tag in the respective, yeah, yeah, gender or whatever. Uh, cool, yeah, I think that'll be freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, Willow and Copeland versus Julia and Brody. Yeah, please, thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, uh, man, I, the, f this segment for me, I think, was my high point for the night, man. When Copeland walked in, just like exaggerated out of breath, like. <gasps> Oh, oh, oh god <laughs> and then he's like yeah. what do he call them you guys ready for the match of dynasty uh go uh raid what is it team rated chicken hawk that's <laughs> like what is going on oh, i love it he like he's just clearly goofing off and having fun and, uh yep. yeah he's like when wrestlers are ha actually having a good time i feel like that's the way that's always that that is best like <laughs> Yeah, you can clearly yeah. see him having fun. Like back in the day, I used to go make sure I get to like any raw that would come through town. I'm like, eh, kind of boring, uh, especially because like you, you just you felt like you're part of a television production, not part of a show. But you go to one of their live events and like they break character, they goof off. I was like, that's what I love about wrestling. That's why I love going to like Prestige because you know it's like you're part of the show. So I was like, oh, see, this is what I want. Is like it feels almost like house show Copeland. It's great. Yeah. 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 I'm I'm glad that he can uh really let loose, <laughs> you know. Um cool, yeah. Um, all right. Here we go. We get to this all in 2023 backstage footage. We've got Nicholas and Matthew Jackson. Uh they uh you know tease playing it right off the bat but matthew's like no 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 let's give him some context uh basically uh their match at uh dynasty with ftr opens old wounds uh which is all in uh the last time they wrestled each other uh nicholas wonders if ftr were behind the incident uh, to throw them off their game. 
they had no time to hydrate or pray before their <laughs> match against FTR. And uh, yeah, all right, we get to the footage here. It starts off with uh, Jack Perry uh, kind of getting looked at by medical on his back really quick. Uh, whoever's looking at him walks away. Uh, then CM Punk walks up to Perry and they talk or argue. Uh, it didn't look too heated or animated, but they uh, talk, argue for about 30, 40 seconds. And Punk shoves Perry twice uh, pretty hard. It wasn't a little love shove it was it was hard uh does it twice gets him in a headlock uh right there in front of uh they call the mongo position yeah uh samoa joe and paul turner one of the referees pulled jack perry away chris hero and jerry lynn hold punk back punk turns and leans towards tony khan points and yells something and chris hero and jerry lynn uh hold punk back and punk walks off uh kind of throws up his arms and uh walks off with malachi black um in the background we've got uh aubrey edwards we've got uh Hook. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Hook Watching. actually tried to help regulate too and break it up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, all right. My viewpoint is it was a bad idea. It wasn't a good look to be playing that now. It looks petty. Um, now, the fact that they attached or are seemingly attaching a storyline to it, which is the reintroduction of Jack Perry to AEW, gives it a little bit of credibility for me. Uh, there, At least it isn't just to quote-unquote embarrass CM Punk. Uh, there's a pathway there's a, a goal yeah um it's being used to further and the story of and build heat for the dynasty match between ftr and the young bucks adds a little more credibility for me um yeah like it, it didn't it's not like wcw 2000 trending <laughs> yeah yeah it was no like finger poke of doom no, no, like, it was too late, um, but man, like, they, they responded, like, they, they didn't need to do it, they did it, yeah, uh, now maybe we can move on, move on, please, I'm cool with that, yeah, um, I think, I think they could have, if, they they took that chunk out and they still had like a young bucks talking about you know FTR and Jack Perry and then the FTR stuff that happened after um still would all been I think it would have been good TV it would have set up both angles Perry coming back and the match and yeah for me like you said it's too late uh it didn't add anything CM Punk even basically like his his account of what happened was what we saw. He's not a hypocrite. He's not lying. Yeah. He had words and he shoved them and got into an altercation. Things happened and now he's not in the company anymore. Yeah, that's pretty well what happened. Uh, and for me, from just a, a, a viewing, I, I talk, told you this off camera. When I went to school for this stuff, as I was told, audio is the most important thing. The sound. With television's just a radio play with pictures like there there could be a goof up um on a picture a graphic whatever and it's like maybe a little bit of meh well that was weird 
but like if there's like audio problems like especially like you remember aw when it first started it's glaring like it takes you it breaks your immersion uh that was almost what 30 seconds of just dead silence while it was playing it's bad tv it was just not good like like you said i've heard it on other stuff give it to tmz give it to an out outlet then it's not in your hands anymore still being shown you got what you wanted but it's not on your show it's not breaking your awesome wrestling show which like front to back you would have been a great show then there was this weird thing in the middle that just kind of broke my immersion yeah 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 um yeah bottom line again for me it it didn't destroy the company yeah uh like i liked how to uh tony shivani was really playing into it yeah at the end just looking like like oh like looking off to the side like uh yeah T it's time to move on which yeah. kind of leads us to the next segment uh we get ftr coming out they're kind of the voice of reason here uh kind of made me feel like the whole episode was like meta because yeah. like what's they going on inside then, tony's head right now yeah then ftr is like hey like we need to move on this was a bad idea and like <laughs> uh okay like <laughs> um I, I think it helped ftr coming out like that was yeah. No, it brought it back it brought it back it brought me back into the show because I, I was like kind of checking out like oh, this isn't playing well and then i was like oh no i'm interested again now so it, it they did their part yeah 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 um we got cash well they're both fired up we got cash uh saying why are we showing this uh we're ready to move on at dynasty we have to beat you you petty little bitches uh yeah the crowd loved it uh the crowd was pretty hot too for most of the show yeah they're starting to pick back um, up again um we got dax fired up here he says uh we have eclipsed to the young bucks as the best tag team ever and we will build this place uh for every fan who spends their hard-earned money on a ticket we are doing this for you said so two teams walk in one team walks out the first three-time aew world tag team champs uh yeah uh good stuff like you said it, it brought me back um that that was needed like people needed to hear uh you know the truth i guess yeah is <laughs> the way to put it uh yeah that, that was definitely needed to to kind of it was kind of a slap in the face <laughs> yeah it was like, it was it was like point <laughs> counterpoint and uh, like i said oh nope they got me again like because yeah i was like uh you're losing me and then i was like oh okay i like this like they they pulled they brought it back wake up yeah uh so yeah i'm 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 with it uh, and all their like you know they're they're the baby faces like all their points were valid and uh, I agreed with all of it. Um, yeah. After that, we get a recap of Brian Danielson's final uh, run here in AEW and a sneak peek of his match against Will Osprey. Uh, after that, we get kind of an impromptu Will Ospreay promo. Uh, he had something he uh, really needed to respond to, huh, Chad? Yeah, bruv. Ugh, that was, uh, it was interesting. Um, like, the dude's got charisma at the butt. Like, I think if anybody else tried to do this, I don't think they would have pulled it off, but I feel like he did. Yeah. Yeah, he sure did. Um, and I do got to give props to that camera angle they're, they're yeah. trying out. Yeah, you were talking about it the other week, and they did it again. I'm like, I'm kind of into it. I noticed it more now when you that you pointed it out. I was like, ooh, I kind of, I'm digging it. Really like it. Uh, but yeah, we get Will Ospreay basically responding to Triple H. Uh, some comments he made about 
basically uh, what, dodging a bullet with uh, some of these AEW signings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, saying, you know, without naming names, that they were afraid of the grind. Um, so Osprey fires back with, uh, you know, rumor uh, is that he's afraid of the grind. But he's been traveling from the UK to the US every week and delivering the best pro wrestling matches around. Uh, he says, basically, in a nutshell, Triple H was grinding on the boss's daughter to get where he got. Uh, he said, don't throw stones at an assassin with a machine gun. Ooh, I <laughs> uh, love it. Uh, then he finally focuses on, uh, Danielson and what Danielson said about him. Uh, he said younger and better men have tried, but failed, uh, to pin him. But you are Brian Danielson. Uh, he said he can't call himself the best wrestler until after dynasty when he pins Brian Danielson. Uh, it says this is AEW, we're the best wrestle, um, and he is the ace of AEW, and he is Will Ospreay, and he is on another level. Um, yes, yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, looking forward to that. That's that's definitely going to be match of the night for Dynasty, right? Yeah, not even the main event. Yeah, are they, uh, they going to yeah. do... Uh, they're gonna. They're definitely gonna have to play with uh, the head trauma stuff, right? It's gonna be feel real uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Ooh, ay, ay, ay. Um, yeah, loving Will Ospreay. I'm glad that he got uh, a chance to go out there and uh, defend himself a little yeah. bit. So yeah, put a mic in his hand um, every week. Like, that's, wow, like. I, I didn't know he had that part in him. I like New Japan has a much different style. Like you always knew about his in ring, but whoo man, like just week after week, I'm like, this dude is amazing. Is there nothing he can't do? And seemingly this was an off the cuff yeah. thing too. And it was emotional and real. Yeah, good stuff. Um uh, yeah, after that, we get a Julia Hart spooky promo. Uh, she says, Willow is strong and powerful and always has a spark inside of her. But little does she know, a single spark can start a raging fire. I'll peel back your mask and show you carry more than smiles and rainbows. Hurt and anger, you env envy me. You know what I'm capable of, yet you keep coming back for more. I shall kill your spark, turn your smile into a frown, and make sure you never touch my crown. I'm the princess of the Black Throne, the keeper of secrets. The house always wins. Yeah, good stuff. A little poetry there. Uh, yeah, she's totally losing that title. Uh, I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, her 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 reign didn't really go yeah. where I wanted it to. It's yeah, she, she kind of got derailed with an injury, did it not? So, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like if the injury hadn't happened, she probably would have dropped it by now. And yeah, For Willow's sure. Willow's a hot hand right now. Like, like she's definitely uh, definitely part of the A story, in my opinion. Like. Her and Stat and Stokely are uh, part of the most interesting stuff. Like, Tony Storm's great and hilarious. Uh, Monet, uh, I just want to see her in the ring because she's, yet again, this week didn't do it for me. We'll hit that segment shortly. Um, yeah. Uh, who else we got right now for storylines? That's really it, huh? Uh, yeah, it was some Rampage crap, but uh, yeah. uh, Sky Blue isn't doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, let's get yeah. Athena in. Man, I'm kind of getting worried at this point. Like, 
she wants to leave maybe and they're yeah. just like oh and they know that so they're gonna keep her down there i don't know man getting worried about that <laughs> so um anyway moving along here we got <laughs> Lion Hook and Shibata versus Shane Taylor Promotions. Uh, they recently got Anthony Agogo to join Shane Taylor Promotions. Got him. Long time no see. Yeah, man. Former Olympic boxer. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, we got uh, starting out. Uh, Hook eventually suplexes Shane Taylor uh, somehow. Uh, Jericho's plan falls apart when he argues with Hook about the learning tree on the outside, <laughs> uh, letting uh, Shane Taylor punch Shibata and Lee Moriarty hit his finisher for the win. Uh, Hook is mad and yells at Jericho to <laughs> get lost. <laughs> uh, yeah. I knew it was going to fall apart. Uh, yeah. We got Jericho the, looking. The weak Chandler is off, and Shane Taylor's team picks up the win. He's been going on about when are these guys going to win forever. And uh, look who they beat. Chris yeah. Jericho, ex world champion. Hook, who's like on to the up and up. Like on, and Shibata, like that's not a, that's not a small win. That's, a, that's kind of a big deal. Um, yeah, today, uh, it came out that Hook is going to let his contract expire and become a free agent Ooh. and let WWE compete. Oh, good so, for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wonder what that means for Taz or the FTW title or. Yeah. And competition's good. It's, you know, it's the whole iron sharpens iron thing. Like. Be sad to see him go because I love him. Like his interactions in AEW, like man, uh, Danhausen, which where's he been? Uh, OC, like he, I, I feel like I feel like Hook. You know, he he needs some years, he needs some reps, but it's been fun watching him develop. Like the, it's an awesome character. It's a really good groundwork. We just I think we just need some time and some seasoning. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, let him let him join the free market and see what he can, what what uh, happens. I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Competition. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Um, after that, we get a Dustin Rhodes promo with Renee. Uh, he knows what's on the line. He's got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And he says, he's here for the business, baby. <laughs> he snuck in a little, a little dusty yeah. there. I caught it. Uh yeah, apparently uh, Joe is cleared for the match later on. Um, after that, we get a uh, squash match for Kazuchika Okada. Um, all I wrote down was neckbreaker, dropkick, rainmaker, win. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cristiano Argentino. Argento was his name. Oh, uh, I just had read, written down some jobber, so you got more than me. Yep, yep. I, I try to get their name if I can help it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and I, the part that I love the most, uh, he got on the mic uh, and clearly said, Hey, Pac, I accept your challenge. See you at Dynasty. Love it. He doesn't yep. need a mouthpiece. Nope. <laughs> and what happens when uh, you say somebody's name in the ring? You summon them. Uh, Pax music hits and Pax stares him down. Uh, and then Pac walks towards the ring with the young bucks, beat him down. But FTR run out, make the save. But the elite get the upper hand and take out FTR and Pac, uh, with uh, chairs and uh, EVP trigger. Uh, yeah, the whole nine yards. Uh, yeah, they looked uh, pretty formidable. We got really loud boos for the Young Bucks. We got 
uh cm punk chant going <laughs> briefly uh-huh. uh the whole nine yards man and they were eating it up too yeah. they knew what was coming oh yeah they they're doing their jobs they're the heels they need the reaction the worst thing that could happen is silence and like hats off to them man they're they're uh they're really taking this angle and it's it's unique it's interesting i love it and is there a chance they could go somewhere with this like i don't know like they can't really bring up punk anymore yeah but like this could be a good good launch pad maybe for oh yeah no almost like an authority figure type view like type thing like it's it works like they're just complete and utter villains and yet they're charming when they do it like they make me laugh they make me like I want to see their segments, but at the same time, it's like, I also want to see them get their asses beat. Like it's, it's like a version of the Miz that I kind of would just want to see all the time where you do not with the Miz. (laughs) Yeah, man. I don't know. I like what they're doing. I like the bucks. Yeah. Uh, They're, they're hitting all the right, checking all the right boxes for me right now. Um, But anyway, uh, after that, we get a recap of the Ring of Honor six-man tag match and Billy Gunn there, and Anthony Bowens getting taken out. Um, we get a Bang Bang Gang promo. Jay White recaps what they've been up to. Number one, broke Darby's foot. Number two, retained the ROH six-man belts. And three, beat down Billy Gunn, uh, and he wants to have a match on Rampage, and we'll find out who that is. Um, oh yeah, they, they said later on Matt Seidel. <laughs> 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 I wonder who's winning that. Um, cool. After that, we get a Charleston Championship Champagne Toast. <laughs> What was uh, this? Requested by Tony Storm. We got Renee Paquette there. Uh, it's kind of, I guess, supposed to be their contract signing almost equivalent. Uh, we got Thunder Rosa. Uh, <laughs> Tony Storm throws champagne on Thunder Rosa and she beats her down, uh, wipes her makeup off. Uh, Deanna Perrazzo runs in to try to help Thunder Rosa, but Thunder Rosa doesn't realize that it's her, I guess, and pushes her away. Uh, then Mariah May comes out for her match against Anna J. Uh, Tony Storm drinks champagne and kisses Mariah May on the cheek. Uh, then we get the match. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm glad that segment wasn't really drawn out. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, it didn't need to be no, a long no. thing. No, it just yeah, it would have um, it would have just it, yeah, it, it didn't really hit for me. Like it, like her personality didn't come out. She didn't have a mic in her hand, you know. So it was just kind of like, man, what's going on? I don't understand. So yeah, but at least it was quick, and then it motivated the match. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mariah May, awesome. I'm glad to see her every time she gets a match. Uh, like how she pretty much basically has Tony Storm's old gimmick, like verbatim. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we got the match against Anna J. Uh, a lot of reversals and uh, counters from the beginning there. It looked really good. Uh, we got really loud chops uh, from both women. Uh, May misses a hip attack, giving Jay a chance to gain momentum. She gives Mar- Mar- Mariah May an iconoclasm and covers for two. Uh, Mariah May gives Anna Jay an avalanche drop kick, then a hip attack for a two count. Anna Jay hits her back kick for a two count. And May rolls up Anna Jay with a counter and wins. 
uh, Anna Jay gets the Queen Slayer on Maria, and someone named Mina Shirakawa runs out for the save. Uh, they drink champagne together and then kiss. Uh, apparently, this is called HLA. <laughs> I have no idea what happened, but I was there for it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't get it, but I'm kind of enjoying it. Maybe I'm a dirty old man. Very, I don't know. Very uh, name who shall not be named attitude era yeah. stuff. Uh, I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got a love triangle now between this chick and Tony Storm and Mariah May, I guess. Cool. <laughs> Interesting. I'll let it play out. I'll let it play out. <laughs> um, speaking of letting it play out, uh, we got Alex Marvez interviewing Mercedes, Mercedes Monet. Uh, he, uh, she wants to head to Vegas and become AEW TBS champion. Uh, she can't wait to watch Julia versus Willow. And she says Julia is mysterious and unpredictable. And Willow is dangerous. One year ago, she lost to Willow and lost her chance to win the New Japan Strong Women's title. Uh, the lights go out and she gets jumped. Uh, the lights come back and she's on the floor uh, writhing in pain. Uh, ooh, who is it? Ooh. What, do you, what do you think? I think uh. she faked it. Oh, ooh, do tell. I want to hear what you got to yeah, say man. before I got mine. She slipped in the Julia being mysterious and unpredictable, planted that seed, and then boom, she's going to frame, uh, or shoot, she could really frame either one. Yeah. Honestly. So, yeah. Right. So my, my weird uh, left field idea is uh stokely got statlander to do it on behalf of willow Wow, because willow That's would great. never scoop that low but nope. statlander has been playing with the dark side a little yeah yeah i like it okay yeah i like that a lot uh cool yeah i don't want to hear mercedes say one more word let's just see her in the ring please yeah Please wrestle. <laughs> Rumor has it she's not ready. I, yep. Not I hope she is soon. I mean, she's got a match coming up. So, <laughs> um, cool. We finally get our uh, world title eliminator match. Uh, finally, for the main event, Samoa Joe versus Dustin Rhodes. Uh, yeah, really hard hitting match. Bloody. Uh, you get that. Dustin Rhodes trope where he gets the momentum and yeah. gets the big move and just can't get it done. Uh, yeah, fast pace early on. Joe rams Dustin uh, head first into the ring post on the outside. And what do you know? Dustin busted open, bleeding really bad. Uh, he fights back with a power slam to Joe. Both men are down. Dustin gives Joe a uh, dusty elbow uh, and a code red for two. Uh, Dustin rams Joe's head into the ring post and then grabs the world title belt. Uh, Dustin uh, decides not to use it because he'd be DQ'd, uh, but he hits a crossroads. The crowd freaking uh -huh. blew up when he did that. Uh, only gets a two count. He should have went for the, the two and the three crossroads, yeah. right? Only way to do it. Yeah, did the trick. Uh, that can. <laughs> uh, Joe grabs uh, a chain, and when the ref is uh, trying to get rid of the ch chain, uh, Joe hits Dustin with the damn title belt and covers him for the win. Uh, Joe gets a chokehold on Dustin, and out of nowhere, Swerve comes in and gives him a house call while he's got the chokehold on, and sick. then Swerve wraps the chain around his fist and punches Joe. 
Uh, Joe runs out of the ring and Swerve holds up the AEW world title belt. Uh, Joe looked very angry and the show ended. Uh, so if I'm correct, this might be the first time Swerve got to hold up that belt. Yeah, look good. Or hold it on air, dude. Oh my gosh. That's my my litmus, man. Yeah. I, I need to know what they look like with that belt. And woo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna... No, it's, uh, uh, yeah, we're all ready. We we want this. Finish that story, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, no, it's um, yeah, I think it's all about oh, like all it's a it's, it's, hopefully it's an undeal. What if it isn't? What if he loses? That'd be weird. Yeah, man, I think that'd be a bad call. Yeah, pretty bad call. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, I think you know they got some a uh, couple what two weeks, one week, week and a bit left. So yeah, they'll have a go home yeah. show. So. Joe will stand tall there to make the math go even out. So uh, Swerve, will, uh, Swerve will win it on Dynasty, I hope. Uh, yeah, it's been a good story. Um, like I say, not not the biggest build since the last pay for review, but uh, they're giving it a lot of heat. Like you said earlier, feels primal. That was a great word. Yeah, man. Uh, man, when was the last time we saw Hangman? Uh, the triple threat. He's been gone since. Nope freaking way yeah wow man okay that was revolution huh yeah damn that was a long time ago um could he pop up and cost swerve the match Ooh, i hope not i i think swerve deserves the clean win and then maybe that would be his first feud yeah Okay, and then he beat Sangman. Yeah, <laughs> for a clean three. Is that would that be three wins? They had their yeah, their three or their trilogy. Yeah, he won two out of the three. Swerve did right. Yes. So. Yeah. So yeah, no, that'll be uh yeah, that'll be yeah, that'd be good. That'd be a good first one. You know, beat a former world champion and. Like cement cement that because I don't know. I think this might not be a long reign. I my gut's telling me uh Osprey takes it at Wembley. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're just gonna have to jam pack that swerve title reign with great moments. Yeah. <laughs> Which I you know hope they can do. Man, yeah. Uh Overall, good episode. Uh, again, we've already covered the uh, backstage footage. Didn't need it. Yeah. Too late. Uh, it's not going to kill the company. I mean, it generated buzz. Yeah. yeah. And uh, viewership was up from what I read. And, you know, so they got a bit of a pop. Uh, I don't think it'll translate in anything long term. But, they, you know, they, they did some business for them. Yeah. Um, I think I saw something about a possibility of a Tony Khan big announcement uh, <laughs> coming up soon, too. So uh, we'll see what that could be. <laughs> yeah. TV deal uh, or streaming deal? Gosh, man, I, I don't want to pay uh, n- nine times 50. Yeah. <laughs> if I can help it. Yeah. Give me yeah. some max. Yeah, give me that ten bucks a month, or yeah, Max is man. That's already one I subscribe to, so I'd be into that. <laughs> yeah, dude, me too. Uh, yeah, I'd really be into that. Um, but yeah, um, want to thank the viewers out there mm-hmm. for uh, being loyal and subscribing. Uh, we're getting close to two hundred subscribers. Our next. Uh, benchmark is going to be right. 250. 250. Just scrolled by right now. 250. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're uh, we're really loving doing this. Uh, we do want to kind of give a disclaimer. We're just doing this for fun. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, we're not trying to be like breaking wrestling news and yeah. uh yeah, we are not journalists. We're just a couple of buddies who are talking about wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Like we want we don't want to sound like morons <laughs> with what we're talking about. Well, we don't want to. I'm sure we do. Well, at least I do. Uh, I guess uh yeah. Maybe we could work on having the source of a i read or (laughs) uh but yeah we'll we'll work on that for you guys uh i want to be you know i i don't want people also on the other hand to think that uh what they say on grapple sauce doesn't mean anything (laughs) either you know so yeah but we're we're just having fun. We're doing this in our free time. Uh, we love wrestling, and especially uh, how entertaining the backstage drama can be. Uh, yeah, sometimes we have opinions. Sometimes we read things, and yeah, something in between maybe too. So, uh-huh. uh huh. Yeah, just wanted to get that out there. And again, thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting uh yeah we're uh really enjoying what we're doing and uh what can they do chad if they want to listen uh and not watch our podcast oh yeah yeah we uh i also post these all up in the audio format on uh all major podcast uh platforms uh we got what podbean apple podcast um iheart radio spotify Spotify. yeah basically any of the major ones uh if you'd rather listen to our dulcet tones maybe uh have you uh fall asleep to to that or uh commute or fall asleep while you commute uh you know don't do that while you're driving that's probably not good for your health but you know it's your choice yeah yeah do not do not do that at home (laughs) Or in your car. <laughs> uh, cool, yeah. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of news going on other than the uh, fallout of the footage being aired. Yeah, uh, yeah a lot, lot, lot of uh, the word backfired being thrown out around there. Yeah, you um, know, the news cycle and the way today's media and humans' attention spans work... A month, hell, even a couple of weeks from now, it's just going to be like, oh yeah, you remember that thing? Yeah, it's 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 just it's going to be a non-issue. Yeah, and I think they know that too. Yeah, they're pretty keen on that. Um, yeah, it didn't destroy the company. Uh, they're not going under. Yeah, it's because just a of thing it. that happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I can't really think of anything else I would like to cover. Um, yeah, we'll probably have Chandler back on our next Dynamite review. Uh, we'll be doing a collision review coming up here. Um, probably dropping on Tuesday. And yeah, fun stuff. A lot of of cool stuff coming up. We're going to get ready for dynasty we'll try to get our predictions uh uploaded for that in a reasonable amount of time you gotta find that nice sweet spot right to where you're not too early to where you don't know the matches and you're not too late to where people don't even bother watching your video yeah yeah Yeah, i feel like that kind of happened with the wrestlemania stuff because someone slept in chandler (laughs) wrestlemania was over but i mean chandler chandler did did a punishment even though he won on the points because he felt so bad he took one of those barnett sour balls and the last dab poured that on there we had to stop rolling it was awful we stopped recording for a minute i had to edit it uh it was entertaining oh man i wish you could have just kept recording and he didn't know did you did you get the point breakdown? Uh, no. Who how'd that go? Chandler won by a lot. 
Uh, I beat you by only one point, though, so that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I knew nothing and cared even yeah. less. <laughs> yeah, I was trying it. I was like, I wasn't even close to Chandler. I was like, <laughs> the ongoing joke was like, you know, I, I think I'd be in this proposition that Dave was going to win as a joke. And uh, I was like, damn it, he almost beat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun stuff. Um, ooh, while I'm thinking about it, too, me and Chad are going to uh, Prestige. <laughs> Yeah. Roseland 8? Yep. Ocho. Ooh, yeah. Big card. Freaking huge card. Huge card. Um, Zach Saber Jr., Mustafa Ali, the Bullet Club War Dogs. Yep. Suzuki. Oh, my God. Uh, Man, Leo yeah. Rush. This yeah. is an indie promotion. This is amazing. Yeah, what a treat. What a treat we're going to embark on. We've got really good balcony seats. I yeah. can't wait for that. Um, our, our days of standing at a prestige show are done, dude. Yeah. Remember that first one? I think like, I just finished, got off like an eight-hour shift, and I was like, oh, where's the wall? I can't stand. I'm too old for this. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got chairs now, man. <laughs> Pay a little more, you get to relax. Um, but yeah, that should be really fun. I'm looking really forward to it, and uh, we really should try to review it. Yeah, I know we, we keep talking about it. Then every time it was like, I, I don't know, like, ah, that was awesome, and then just move on. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll have to get the uh, uh, IW, yeah, what is it? Yeah, IWTV, IWTV, yeah, yeah, then I can just watch it at my leisure yeah after because i'm not going to be taking notes <laughs> while i'm watching it uh but yeah yeah that's coming up on the 14th um yeah should be fun yeah and if you happen to live in portland go to these shows and see us there come say hi yeah yeah that'd be really fun uh tell your friends to subscribe we're local yeah. and we just want to grow and grow uh, eventually we want to interview some people too yeah i gotta dig out my old camera I think that, see if that thing still works that'd be cool ah right, dude let's do it uh but yeah i think that might do it for our show for today um we'll probably have chandler back here uh next week and until then thank you for watching don't forget to elbow drop that like button power bomb that subscribe button and leave us a comment uh <laughs> we'll uh try to get back with you and uh yeah try, try to leave your comment uh uh you know not so harsh <laughs> if you can help <laughs> it but we're a, we're a family channel <laughs> yeah constructive criticism that's cool yeah 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 uh, we're, we're laid back nice guys uh, so yeah uh, thank you very much and we'll catch you next time have a good one bye peace peace